Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to do Judy's Magic Cast On. It's a gal named Judy Becker. So clever, I wish I would have thought of it. Okay, so we're doing circular needles. We're going to do a toe-up sock, and I'm just going to cast on an arbitrary number of stitches. You'll cast on whatever you're supposed to cast on for your pattern. Okay, so this is going to be a simplified version of how to do this, trying not to make it very complex. Put your thread over the top needle. Here's your cut thread here. And here's your long thread here hooked up to the ball. Okay, so what you're going to do is bring this one back, the short one back, that's going to go over your index finger, and the bottom one's going over your thumb. And after that, uh, you're going to hold it just like you would if you were doing a long tail cast on. So it, all you have to remember is your index finger is for the bottom and your thumb is for the top. So we already have one on the top, so we're going to put one on the bottom. So index finger on the bottom. Go around the top and the bottom and the top. Super easy. And it hooks these two together so that you have no seam in the toe of the sock later. Again, I'm just putting on an arbitrary number of stitches. You'll put on whatever you need for your pattern. Very, very easy. Okay. So I have to do one more on the bottom. And now, see how they're hooked together? It's so great. Now here's your cut thread. You're just going to hold that back, come around, and you're going to turn these needles clockwise like that. Here's your working thread. I'm holding the tail to the back. Now you're going to pull out the bottom needle so that those stitches are on the cable part. Now start knitting. I'm going to knit across this row, show you how to go to the next row. Okay, here I am finished with that row. I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm just going to rotate everything clockwise like this. I'm going to push the cable back in, and now I'm just going to pull out the bottom needle. See how cool that is? No seam or anything. It all works perfectly. Pull this out, and now I'm going to knit this one. And I've used a variegated yarn, nice and chunky, so you can see what I'm doing. Of course, you'll be using like a size 0 or a 1. <laughs> I'm also using bulky, uh, bulky yarn. Okay, that's actually considered one round because I'm knitting <clears throat> one needle then the other needle. Okay, so here we are again. Look, and I'm going to just rotate it clockwise. Push the top cable back. <coughs> I don't know why I'm choking. Pull this one out. And now I'm going to knit the next row. Now on your sock pattern, the next row is probably going to be an increase row. So go ahead and knit one. Now do an increase, and I just knit front and back. Keep it simple. There are many ways to increase. If you have one you like better, no worries. So then knit to the second last stitch. I always increase on the second stitch in. Then there I am. Knit the front. Knit the back and knit the final stitch. Again, you're just going to rotate everything clockwise, push the cable back, So one thing that happens, this is going to be an increase row, one thing that happens is people say, well, how is this going to make a tube? And I've read that on the internet where people get completely confused and say, well, it just makes a, uh, a square piece. Well, not really, because at this point what you need to do is kind of put your fingers in there and bring the bottom needle up behind the other needle. And that's the whole thing. And that makes a continuous tube then. So you're going to draw this out <coughs> and knit one. 
And remember, we have an increase. As you're doing this, do not get alarmed because this will want to pull apart. It really doesn't want yet to be a tube. It'll be a tube long about the seventh or eighth row. It won't fight with you so much, but it will fight with you a little bit at this point. But no worries, you just have to show it whose boss as you go. Knit the front and the back. That's your second last stitch. There we go. So again, you're going to kind of push that like that, rotate it this way, push this needle back in, bring the other needle out. See how it's starting to come up like the toe of the sock? Now you're going to knit a plain row. Plain as in no increases. See how it wants to pull apart? It's okay. It won't, it won't do that for much longer. And when you get to the end of the row, what you need to do is make sure and again rotate it like this, make sure that you bring that needle behind and keep the stitches rather tight so that it turns into a tube. And again, it's only going to fight with you for a very short time. Okay, so here's my yarn. I'm going to bring this out, see how I have this pulled down. Going to knit the next row. This is the second part. This is needle number two that I'm knitting. You knit needle number one and needle number two. Needle number two is the sole of the sock. It's a really good idea at this point, as soon as you can, to go ahead and put a marker on this side. So placing a marker, like one of those little pin markers, which is what I normally use, just place it right here along these stitches here, so that then you can always identify the sole and the top of the sock. Okay, thank you very much.